Got a little one hooked up there. There we go. So, it's, it's a start. It's not the tournament winning fish, but it gives us a bite, lets us know there's a couple shallow up here. And I'm just gonna keep scanning around looking here, but that's that Z-Man Mini Max. It's a little chatterbait, it's a half ounce, and I like to throw this because I can cover a lot of water and we can catch them like that and just start kind of dialing in where they're at. If, sometimes they'll be on these sandy patches here. Sometimes they're on their darker rock. So there's a little bit of playing with them. But you can see this guy's super light. So he was allowed in that sandier spot and that's why he was kind of blended in with it, doing his camouflage deal. So we're gonna keep working our way through here. But today we're gonna be looking for um, shallow water smallmouth. So we're out here covering this flat. We're looking for some active fish that are just kind of schooling. They could be a couple wolf packs up here, but I'm throwing the Z-Man Mini Max, little three inch Z-Man minnow on there, all around good search bait. Um, we're gonna keep firing around these little sandy rock transitions. And, and once I find them, that's when we're gonna slow down and we're gonna pick up a drop shot and kind of see if there's anybody just kind of cruising along. So it gives you multiple options of how to catch these fish once you have them around the boat. We're in about eight foot right here and kind of just looking around, just trying to key in on any of those little spots. A lot of times those small mouth that are up shallow like this are the big black dark ones. And so they're easy to pick out with your eyeball. So you got to always be looking around. Pretty good conditions. We got a little bit of a chop here, but that's all right. Um, helps break up the surface a little. That way the fish don't get a great look at you, but you need to have it clear enough that you could see in the water too. A lot of times they're not super pressured and you can get pretty close to them. Or sometimes I'll chase these, that little mini max right up to the boat and I quick have my drop shot here. Rod's already undone, ready to go. That can just quick drop it down, put it right on their nose and catch them that way. It's a matter of finding those little wolf packs that are up here. So, here when you see the light areas it's either straight bedrock that's kind of clean or it's sand so you have to pay attention to day to day sometimes they like that rock sometimes they like the uh, clean sandy area and then we get the darker areas that is got a little bit of grass mixed in it could have a little bit of um, algae growing on it which if it's the algae that's something the fish typically stay away from if it's got that slimy bottom so they look and try to get on those light spots. Um, and that's what I'm kind of keying in on. I'll throw up towards the edges of them, kind of work it down. It gives them still a little bit of a shade line or transition, whatever you want to call it, where those fish can kind of stage and they still use that to ambush their prey. But up here, they're eating a lot of, um, there'll be yellow perch. There's gonna be some gobies up here, a little bit of crayfish, but those two are the main fours that they're eating when they're in that uh, 10 foot and less water. Now I picked up uh, that Bill Lewis rattle trap, the original one here, and throwing that out, covering some water, maybe something a little bit louder. If I come across one, I'll know where he's at. And those ones, a lot of times you can slow down, pick up your drop shot. There we go. Got one to crack that rattle trap here. And oh, it came off. Um, but that one here, you, that's a good sign. So now we got a bite here. Let's see if we can get another little idea of what's going on, but that one whacked it pretty good there. So when I'm doing this shallow water fishing, it's usually the pre-spawn through the um, early fall. So basically, the, all the times you wanna be fishing up north, that's when you can do it. Um, there are a lot of them are just resident fish, and they're, what I mean is they live up here. They don't go out deep during the summer, um, and they're a good fish to target because they're usually bigger than average. You can usually get those four to six pounders that are the tournament quality that you're looking for. Oh, there's one. I'm going to pick up a drop shot here real quick and see if we can sight fish for him and catch him. Um, he's a, one of those just real dark patches. He was kind of sitting on the edge of the rocky area where it transitioned into the sand. Even if I don't catch that specific fish, there's usually, here he is right there. Um, you can see him kind of cruising around there. So I just dropped it right in front of him. And now I'm gonna have to start paying attention to see how he reacts. So this fish actually turned around for a second. Um, I can see him kind of moving around. I'm gonna let him swim away from us. I'm gonna try to lead him a little bit. You don't wanna hit him right on top of his head 
because that'll end up kind of keying him in that there's something going on. And ooh, that was a, I don't know if that was a bite or if that was a rock. So I'm going to keep kind of, there we go, we got him. So there we go, just like that, you're able to, woo, he's jumping. Um, catch those fish that you see that come up cruising. That wasn't the original fish we saw. That one, he's, this one's smaller here. Oh, he's aerial. Um, also, as you're reeling this fish in, he's got a buddy right behind him there. And that might be the bigger one. That's something I always keep my eye on this fish and see what's going on. We're gonna get him in and then we're gonna try to quick drop down and get his buddy because his buddy's much bigger. Um, so let's see if we can get this guy. This is just on that Z-Man trick shot. Um, it's a little three inch bait. We got that Hayabusa hook right there. And I like that because it pegs them right, this right in the roof of the mouth. And those fish, when you get them like that, typically they're not gonna come off. Um, he's gonna be caught for the day and we're gonna get him in the boat, land them. This is that little bait here. I just nose hook it. You can see it right like that. Cool. It's called Gobi Bryant, and it's because they're up here eating gobies and they love that color. But we're gonna put this guy back here and we're gonna try to get his buddy if we can find him here again. But nice little, whatever, two, two and a quarter, solid little fish. Now that we drifted off the spot a little bit, we're gonna kind of try to do a little bit of sight fishing here again, see if there's anybody else that pulled in. I'd uh, use the anchor mode on my ghost. Let's see if we can see him though. We got a little bit less, but there he is. There's another one over there. So again, I'm gonna cast just past him and I'm gonna let the bait fall to the bottom. I'm gonna pick up, just kind of work it real slow. I don't wanna put a whole lot of action into this. There he is, just like that. So we saw that guy out in front of the boat. Again, we're gonna get a nice jump out of him. <laughs> and um, that's what's so addicting about this shallow water fishing. And again, kind of keep your eyes peeled as you're reeling him in see if there's anybody that his buddies are following him around. Sometimes they'll be kind of darting around in the same general area, but this guy, he's a little bit darker. So that's how I could see him out ah, 20, 25 feet in front of the boat. We're gonna work him up, we're gonna land this fish. Just like that. So we got another guy here on that Hayabusa hook. We're gonna pull him off here. There we go. Nice little drop shot fish. Super pretty. He's gonna go back here in this clear water and swim back down to his buddies and grow up to be a probably a nice five, six pounder in a couple more years. This rod and reel combination from favorite is really key to catching these fish, hooking these fish, and landing these fish. So I have the favorite hex. It's a 721, it's a medium heavy. And what I like about this is it's got a fast tip on it. So it lets me really fling this rattle trap a super long distance. The medium heavy part of it is important because when I hook those big ones, I wanna really be able to get a good hook set and I'm really bury those hooks up. So that's the rod. The reel, I go with a favorite Soleus XCS, a seven three to one. And I like that because it lets me pull up a lot of line as I'm burning water. A lot of times I'm on my trolling motor moving around at the same time. So you have to be able to reel super fast to keep this bait in action. The line, that's 17 pound Seaguar Tatsu. And I like this because it's a soft, uh, nimble fluorocarbon, which really lets me make a long cast. I don't have a lot of memory in it. So you can cast further between the rod, reel, and the line. It brings it all together and lets me put a lot of big small mouth on that Bill Lewis rattle trap into the boot. There's times when you're out here and um, you can't just throw that spinner bait and your chatter bait around and they don't want to just don't want to eat moving bait. So you got to actually slow down and fish these key little areas and, and they're kind of sitting around there looking for food, kind of just hanging out, kind of a midday lull it could be. And when you throw a drop shot out there, they hear it hit the water, they hear it, see it fall. It gives them time to swim over there and come look at it. It don't have to make that split second reaction like they do with a spinner bait and chatter bait or rattle trap, whatever you're throwing to cover your water. So once I've located these fish with my uh, moving baits, the Bill Lewis rattle trap or whatever you're kind of power fishing with, then I come to the Z-Man drop shot. And this guy here is a Z-Man trick shot. It's a three and a quarter inch bait. And the whole rod and reel setup is really important for this. So it's a jackhammer, it's a 721, it's a medium heavy rod. 
Being a medium heavy, it's got plenty of backbone through the first half of it, but it's still parabolic enough that when I hook a smallie, it buries this light wire hook into the roof of their mouth. This is a Hayabusa, it's a DSR-132. And then I got a leader. Um, something that's important about this weight as well is it is green pumpkin. They bite a shiny tungsten weight a lot of times. So the angler tungsten, this is colored. The green pumpkin, black's good too, either one of them. But I'm using Seaguar Gold Label. This is eight pound test. Then I go to a 15 pound braid. It's Seaguar Flash Green um, Smackdown. And you fill this up onto your favorite reel. This is a jackhammer as well. It's a 2500 series. And I really like that because it's got a bigger spool on it. So when I hook those fish and they're running at me, coming up, jumping, I can turn that handle and I catch up to those fish super quick. And this, this combination for everything here is key to putting as many big smallmouth into your boat as possible and give me your best chance to win a tournament. There's one I can see. So the water here, a little bit rougher, so it's a little bit tougher to see in there, but I can just barely see that dark black spot. He's actually, he's down on my bait. Let's see if we can get him to eat it. Um, we got a little bit close. I'm gonna kind of just watch him, keep your eye on him. That's a big key with this, is making sure you keep your eye on that fish at all times. As soon as you take your eye off of him, with the ripples on here, the little bit of sun glare and the dark spots, they become really hard to pick back up on. So I'm gonna drift off of him. He's about 15 feet in front of the boat. I'm gonna cast this, not on his head, like we talked about earlier. You wanna put it out in front. I'm gonna let it go to the bottom. I'm gonna watch how that fish, see how he reacts. We're on a nice sandy spot right here. So it makes him easy to see, but I believe he, there's just a one little, there he is. That's an, actually another one. Oh, that's a big one too. This is what we're here for. This is what you come up to the Great Lakes for. You're trying to catch these big, dark smallies. There's this guy that we just hooked up on. We got his buddy that was over, that I was actually actively sight fishing. I was watching him, but they're coming in these little wolf packs. There'll be two, three of them at a time together. And now we're just gonna kinda let this guy wear himself out a little bit and we're gonna grab him. But we got a nice, nice smallie here. We're gonna come back, see what we can do. He's still a little green, so we might take a second to grab him. But that Z-Man trick shot is just the perfect little bait to kind of mimic what these fish are eating down here, those gobies. It's got the right color, right profile. Bring him up. All right, just like that, we got one of these nice Great Lakes smallmouth. We kind of had to do some searching. We used our power bait. We're using the chatter bait, a uh, rattle trap, covered some water, got into an area that had some fish, and then we slowed down, picked them off with that Z-Man trick shot. We got that Hayabusa hook buried up in there. Lots of fun, great way to catch them. Make sure you do a little bit of sight fishing next time you have the chance.